In this episode of Restore It, I'm going to restore this vintage 24 inch Stilson wrench from record. To get things going, I firstly need to dismantle it as much as possible, and luckily there's not much to it. The plan is to drill out the pivot pin that holds the frame onto the handle, and make a new one on the lathe. I'm waiting for some new drill bits to turn up, which will make the job doable in good time. So in the meantime, I'm going to clean and shot blast everything to remove most of the rust. With everything now blasted, I'm going to spray the bare metal with oil to prevent it from flash rusting. By this point, some of the new drill bits I ordered had arrived, so I decided to make a start on removing the pivot pin. I still don't have a big enough drill bit to completely remove the head, so I'm going to use a panel splitter and a big hammer to get the job done. With the pin now flush to the surface, I can tap it out with a punch and free the frame. I could now clean up the small bit that was missed and blast it along with the inside of the frame. The next task is to remove any wear or damage and get every piece ready to be mirror polished. I'm going to do this using a variety of methods. The first one being a small grinding stone in a rotary tool. Before I do that, I just have a very quick and important word from our sponsor. When things go wrong with our cars, be it the engine or the suspension, for the most part we take care of it. However, when something's off in the bedroom, we tend not to think about it, and we all know what happens when we ignore problems. They just get worse. So let's take care of ourselves as much as we take care of our cars. That's where Get Roman comes in. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing healthcare for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your own home. A US licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan for you and if appropriate, medication will be shipped to you in discreet packaging with free two day shipping. Getting started is super easy, just go to getroman.com forward slash restore and complete an online visit. And if you do so by clicking my link at the top of the description, you'll get $15 off your first order of ED treatment. Now is always the best time to hit this kind of thing head on, and with Roman it's easy. 
so if you've been putting it off, change that today with Get Roman. Thanks again to Get Roman for sponsoring the channel. Let's get back to the wrench. I'm using different types of files to smooth out the undamaged surfaces and any rough edges. On surfaces with light to medium damage, I'm using a mixture of old and new Rolock prep pads to remove it. Some scratches are too deep for the old medium ones and so I swapped out for new coarse pads to cut through them. After a lot of filing and Rolock pads later, I could now move on to the sandpaper and finally polishing.
After a few hours of sanding and polishing, the parts are looking good, but I want to go over everything one more time with this polish from Unipol. I'll show you the results of this final polishing once everything is ready to be reassembled. The next thing I wanted to take care of was the damage on the nut. Before I can redo the knurling pattern, I first have to remove the old one, along with as much material as it takes to remove the deep scratch. With this piece now imperfection free, I could send it off for knurling, and again I'll show you that once everything is finished. Sadly, the guys who did it, didn't let me film it. But you can get the idea, these two rollers spin and it pushes the pattern onto the piece. With everything else dealt with, I could now clean and mask the parts I'm going to be painting. Firstly, two coats of edge primer were applied. With that flashed off, I could now add two coats of quartz high build primer. I let the primer cure for 30 minutes at 60 degrees celsius so I could wet sand it ready for base coat. Before I can add the base coat, I need to make a shade of blue that best matches records. I'm going to start with signal blue and add black and orange until I get the shade I want.
Now that I have the colour, I can add thinners at a 1 to 1 ratio and add two coats to all of the parts. Quartz Crystal Clear was last on the list of paint for the main parts, but my camera decided not to film it, but here are the results anyway. Now I get to remove the masking tape and see if I did a good job or not. I wanted to highlight the 24 in the circle and did so by painting the numbers white before I added the clear coat. You'll see the end result of this just before the reassembly. I'm using paint stripper and sticker remover to get rid of any mistakes or residue left over from the masking tape. With pretty much everything else done, other than the pivot pin, it was time to make one. I'm starting with a stainless steel bar that's slightly larger than the hole. I want this pin to be three pieces so it's easy to put back together and can be taken apart again if needs be. I'm going to start with the middle piece. Now I'm moving on to the two screws made out of the same bar of stainless. I foolishly forgot that I could make two at the same time, so I went back and did the same thing next to it, but the opposite of it. I could do everything I'm about to do on a lathe, but I don't really have the lathe tools to get it done. So I opted for the disc sander to shorten them, a palm sander to shape them, and a tap and die to add a thread. With the two screws almost finished, I drilled a hole through the middle of the pivot pin which is going to be tapped to match the screws.
The final task is to shape these screws and add a flat head using a cutting disc. And there we go, that's everything done and ready to be put back together again. That unipole polish did a great job as you can see, and the knurl on the nut came out quite nice as well. I then began the reassembly. Fresh grease was added to the inside of the nut to ensure easy movement of the hook jaw. And with that, the restoration was complete. I'm quite happy with how this came out. It was a lot of work and kind of pointless, but I fancied the challenge and learnt a lot along the way. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I did restoring it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.